Hey, this is Mrs. KJ here, and if you're one of my students, you don't have to watch this boring video. Woohoo! This one is for teachers. Yep, they get boring videos from me too. All right, so we are going to talk about when you make your own quiz. Um, going to manage quizzes. I already made these quizzes, but I was unaware of a few steps. So I'm going to show the one I just learned first in case you know the rest already. Under submission views, the default is date immediately, show the questions, no. So what I find more helpful because I want my students, I want to show the questions, I want to show their answer, and I want to show the correct answer. Um, because for me, in my classes, that's what's important. Um, you obviously can make your own selections. If you want to show class average or distribution, if you think that would be motivating in your class, that is completely up to you. I'm choosing not to for chemistry. And then just so you know the other things, um, make sure you have this one checked, allowed automatic export to grades checked. If you make it, you're going to have to give it your own name. Um, other things that I added to mine, I added a time limit. I did 25 minutes plus a five minute grace period. I'm saying it's flagged late and I'm not letting them make other changes to it. And, oops, save. And then under the properties, um, just your name, what category you want in it. I just left that alone and then obviously add edit quizzes. If you have any other questions, feel free to ask one of the experts, which isn't me. Ha ha! I'm kidding. You can probably ask me. And I'm sure after whining and complaining, I'll help you. Okay. Talk to you later. Bye.